Hey guys, um, John Russo here. I uh, hope everyone's having a great day. Um, I'm, I'm having a great day myself, and I uh, appreciate you asking. Uh, today, the, the, the topic is going to be, you know, online business versus offline business. You know, how to create sales and what the difference is uh, and uh, how you can use uh, both ways to actually uh, help your business. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty good at this and I'm going to tell you why. And I don't mean to sound uh, conceited about that, but I've been in business 33 years and, and uh, geez, I'm, I'm going to say at least 26 of them were offline only. And I had a, a, a unique business. Uh, it was started out as an auto body related business and then it ended up into uh, you know, graphics and custom painting and then branding and lettering. And so I was actually, my job was to um, represent and promote a lot of other businesses with my talents. So I saw the offline world um, before the internet, um, I saw what worked. And how to create the wow factor, and how to create your brand, and and how to really, uh, basically, um, outshine your competition. You know that is the key, is to to stand out from your competition. Okay, so a little bit of offline stuff we'll talk about. Um, you know, uh, branding and and vehicle lettering uh, that can be a powerful way to market offline. Uh, that so people you know they see that message you know it's just like coke and pepsi same thing that that you see that message you see their trucks the milk company the fuel companies um you don't have to get busy and tell them a million things with your message you just need to get in front of them so when the opportunity comes when they're going to make a decision of you know uh who they're going to go with who they're going to purchase from you know you might be in their mind you know uh and uh so, you know, the vehicle branding uh, is one way. Then, you, you know, drop cards are pretty powerful, like business cards. You know, business cards are cool, uh, but now, now that we've got the online world, I actually use my business card is on my iPhone, and I, this is another good little trick. You know, what I do is I, when someone asks for my business card, I get their email and their name, and I add them in as a contact, and I send my um business card electronically and what it is is it says who I am and it has my Facebook fan page it has my Skype um, username ID and it has a, uh, my website link and a couple links to something in my website I might want to show them you know um, and so boom they've got my information right on their phone and uh, they can save me and they have anytime they need to get to, to my website or any of the products that I'm offering it's like instant. And I actually like the drop cards because you can, um, you have more room on it to, sh to sh showcase what you do. Um, and in my, my, my uh, business um, that, that I have done for, you know, for my whole life was, was graphics and lettering, and like I was telling you. And it's always nice to throw a few pictures in there and, and uh, you know, and, and show a visual. So visual marketing is, is great. Um, all right, so that's offline, and we could go on and on, you know, um, with different ways to, to market offline, um, to get in the newspapers, to get into print uh, in the right areas, uh, and, to, and to cross market with other leaders in the community or the area that you serve. Um, you know, you can, you, can, you can do events together, you can market together, you can take the leverage of, like, give you an example. I could I do graphics and custom paint. Um, it's my passion, uh, and I could leverage that with um, the uh, Harley Davidson uh, uh, store, and, and and do an event and o raffle off a free you know custom you know candy uh, apple paint job with flames and and, uh, and 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 lift up the Harley Davidson dealership and at the same time I've got all their customers at my looking at my offer so that you could cross 
market with these with these uh, and you see it all all the time I'm down here in southwest Florida you see Publix leveraging Walmart and you, you, you see them it's, it's pretty incredible and then you then you create the perception of value all right that's offline now online um, we all know that um, you know Google's big the search engines are big you can um, you can blog and, and have a website with a blog and, and actually provide valuable quality content so content marketing without getting too deep into that um, you can you can answer questions to your niche market and uh, provide examples and, and just just have a fun place for people to come um, and then you know on your website you can you can create um, a call to action and a funnel for them to go into and uh, get more information and uh, hopefully make your phone ring or an email come through, you know. Uh, then you, you, so you, you can use that and then you can use social media to share your work or your business on social media where you get your friends talking about it, other customers commenting on it, um, and then you become aware it can be a social, you want to create a social epidemic of your business. Um, and let's see, uh, let's see, I wanted, uh, I didn't really write any notes on this, but uh, let me, how to, uh, the, the difference between um, online and offline. Well, and, and here's, here, you know, here's the thing. Actually, what you like offline when you go somewhere and, and, and you go to a business and say you're going to look at a new car, and the way that they approach you and, um, it's the same thing that you that, that that when you find a place that you go to and you like the way they took care of you, they answered your questions, they didn't get pushy, they 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 they, they just worked with you to answer your questions and solve your concerns. That's what you want to do online. You want to provide that same feel and way about your presentations um, when you're talking to your your clients um, that. You're not pushing it, so you, you, you're just providing answers. And then when you do that and they're comfortable, they will make a purchase uh, for if, they, if that product fits their needs. And uh, so I hope that provides some value. Um, basically, what works offline and makes you feel warm and comfortable inside is what you need to be doing online. And the online is just a tool that you can use you can drive paid traffic to your site. You can drive, make, uh, create content and, 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 and drive traffic to your site by providing valuable content. And I actually recommend both because if you just do paid, you're not going to have any content to share with your, with your, with your customer base. So when, you, when you're producing content, you can actually use that and create an email list and then provide some cool content about your business to your client base, which is your email list that you've created. Um, and it kind of kills two birds with one stone. And I hope this adds some value. Make it a great day. Again, John Russo, and uh, we'll be seeing you on the next video. Appreciate you. Thank you.